Mauro Biglino is a writer who based his books on deliberate misinterpretation and mistranslation of the Hebrew Bible. In this video you will realize that he purposely skipped most important Bible verse so that he could go on with his fairy tales, but this video ends it all for good. Here are the most basic lies of Mauro that he is lying about what the Bible says about the God, creator of the universe. Lie, only one of the Elohim. Fact, Elohim is a noun and a title in plural and can be used for one person or multiple persons, and the Hebrew Bible clearly says that one Elohim, one God created the heavens and earth. So let's explain it in more details. The first words of the Hebrew Bible are setting the ultimate base of the whole Bible theology, because the first statement is that one God, the only one God, created the heavens and earth. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Bereshit, bara Elohim, et hashamayim, ve et haaretz. Which means, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Elohim is a noun and a title in plural, and can be used for one person or multiple persons. But we can know exactly when does Elohim mean one person, and when Elohim means multiple persons, which depends on the verb next to it. If the verb next to Elohim is in singular, then the Elohim means one person, one God. If the verb next to Elohim is in plural, then the Elohim means two or more persons. In the beginning the verb bara is in singular, so that means one God created. Bara is a verb that means created, and it means one person created. If you would like to say that multiple persons have created, instead of the verb bara, you would be using the verb baru, which would mean that multiple persons have created. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. Vayivra Elohim et adam, Which means God created mankind. Verb next to Elohim is vaibra, and it is also in singular, so that also mean one God created mankind. When you know this, you can only claim that Bible says clearly that we have one God, one creator. So why Moro does not talk about this? He does not talk about this because this very first verse of the Bible ends his lies in fairy tale books, so he would have to admit that he was lying all this time about Hebrew Bible and the only God. That's why. But if you have been teaching wrong, and you have been taught wrong, just stop with all the lies and hear these words. Ezekiel, verse 18, chapter 21 to 23. But if the wicked turn from all his sins that he hath committed, and keep all my statutes, and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of his transgressions that he hath committed shall be remembered against him. For his righteousness that he hath done he shall live. Do I have any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? Says the Lord God, and not that he should turn from his ways and live? So stop with the lies. Please like, share and subscribe.